Welcome to Critters Rock. This is Dahlgren, and I'll be your guide. We're going to play without killing any animals. That means that, uh, as we sit here and watch this world being created, that we'll be doing without leather armor. We'll be doing without arrows until we can build the skelly spawner. Uh, we won't get wool until we get iron because we need iron to make shears. So nothing is going to get killed that doesn't attack us. And uh, no, I, I realize they're all pixelated. They don't really exist. But I think there's, uh, there's quite a few people out there who want the exterior gameplay to match their interior love of animals. So why not? Why not not kill them? So, we're just going to start from the get-go, and I have nothing. Except my good looks. Ain't I pretty? <laughs> okay, that's not really me. That's just an avatar. But... It is me for this game. So, I'm going to um, tape these or video them on Tuesdays and Fridays. And then I'll have them up Wednesday morning and Saturday morning. This is going to be geared for everybody. No swearing, no religion, no politics, no crude talk. So your five-year-old can watch or your 80-year-old grandfather or grandmother can watch. And most importantly, people who love animals can watch. What's really beautiful about um, see, normally what we do is we'd kill beef and chickens and stuff like pigs but it's really kinda nice in this particular world because uh, look at those mushrooms and we got red over there and we got brown over there shoot we have mushrooms galore there's no reason for us to worry about uh, killing an animal for food we got we got soup for day I mean uh, soup yeah soup for days so let's uh, let's take care of that first of all. I think we can do this with the wood, but anyhow, uh, yeah. What we plan on doing is number one. I'm going to start out just your basic, you know, Minecraft starting. We'll be uh, gathering together resources and protecting ourselves. Oh, by the way, this is play being played on hard. And survival. Um, so we'll be getting ready for the night like any other player, any other time. And uh, going through the horrors of the first night just like anybody else. But there are just so many ways you can do things. There, I mean, there are ways you can do things without hurting animals. And uh, I plan on doing that. This, uh, we're going to be one with nature. And, uh, wow, this is a very thick forest. This will get us through, I, frankly, to tell you the truth, <laughs> I don't like mushroom soup. I mean, in real life I do, but there's such a pain in the butt. Excuse me, that's as bad as it's going to get. Pain in the hiney uh, to uh, carry the bowls and stuff like that. It's not my favorite food, so when we can get wheat and apples, those will be my favoritist. But, beginners can't be choosers. Alright. Let's find, let's find kind of a cool place to... I don't want to have to move. You know, it would be really nice and odd if um, we could actually... 
start in somewhere where we can actually stay instead of having to move on uh, for a while at least so I was trying to think if I wanted to dig in let's go up here and see what it looks like we still got a little time an interesting area. Wow, a lot of area we could build on. Oh, right over there. Very nice. Okay, I was going to dig in, but I think I think we're going to build. We're going to take down some of these trees. I use the dark wood for the corners. Yeah. So let's just go ahead and try not to die. Get down there. Go ahead and get started here. I love that it's so wide open. That's that's very good for beginning stuff. Yeah, that was, that was good. That was good. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do, but that was great. There, that's what I want to do. But we'll just pretend that was my exactly what I wanted to do. And I'll do a yeah, ooh, lots of stuff here. Oh, and while we're at it, make one of the more important things. And um, ah, <laughs> come on, quit. Uh, yeah, let's see. Yeah, we don't need more four bowls. Bam, we got food. Nobody died and we got food. Yeah. yeah. All right, uh, I'm going to go over here because I don't want to mess up my living area. And we'll oh, kind of work on this. Oh, yeah. We'll take this down to the water level. little farther to run to get things done take a little bit longer but I think it'll be worth it and we'll worry about stone swords another time yeah this is not the first rodeo I've been at and I have uh, dogs demises I think pretty much uh, no kill but I've never really started a world specifically with the intention of never killing an animal. And I thought it would just be so fun to play on hard and yet not be able to, uh, you know, arm, arm yourself uh, or armor yourself in the beginning uh, for a good cause. So I thought it would be kind of neat. Now what we're going to do is, I think I'm going to make it out of wood. I like wood structures. I'm going to keep it real small. <laughs> okay. And haphazard, apparently. Yeah. And there you go. Now, what we need... Ooh. Oh, psh. <laughs> I was going, oh my gosh, I need a crafting bench. Uh, you have one. I really don't need a box right now. I need somewhere to... Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead... Be 
feed on that and make a little bit, just a little bit of coal, not much, or charcoal, I should say. Just enough for one torch. So one of the mainstays of this particular uh, series, hopefully, will be uh, input from you guys on what you want to see, what you want to do, where you want to build things, because I want it to be our world and not just a reflection of my tastes and the way I think things should be done. I mean, if we're going to go crazy, then I might go, mm, let's not do that. But um, I'm pretty open to stuff, so... Let me get, I have a certain place where everything goes. Keeps myself organized. You know, I might as well make a box, or a, a, a chest. And... Oh, you idiot. I'm uh, not an idiot. But that was just kind of silly. That may look like a waste of wood, but it is. There. I don't need that no more. Certainly don't need these. I'll only take two of these. I want to keep those safe. So that ought to do it. That right there is going to be for my bow. And that's for a bucket of water. That's pretty much what the what it's going to look like. Oops. And... I ran out of these fast. The really nice thing about the wooden stuff is um, you can uh, burn them afterwards after you, when you don't need them anymore, which is what we'll be doing. Just put those in for case we have to cook something and I'll leave that here for just all right I think we're pretty well set up and I will my 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 yeah the old creeper I will uh, get back with you again when daylight comes I'll be right back yeah I'll bring you back for some action here <laughs> We will get some um, that disgusting meat that they drop, but we'll also get oh, I can't remember what we'll get experience and meat what okay, <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> we just got an ingot of iron. Which is cool. Oops. Whew. Come on, come on, you can make it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I really like that they did that. That didn't used to work like that. You had to be pretty close to your experience before it would pop. That's pretty cool. All right, we're coming up on sunlight. And one thing I do have to do is uh, start farming really quick. 
because unlike protein, uh, you can you know kill one cow and get two, maybe three pieces of meat if you're lucky, and that'll give you a, a four drumsticks. Just one piece, I believe it's still four. I may be wrong. Oh, hi. Ow. Whew. I thought that was only two. I mean, two's fine. Beats the heck out of not getting it back. Ah, bones. Bones is good. Oh, I tried to hit him twice, and then I right, realized right in the middle of it that that really is not going to help. Uh, with an iron sword, it would, but... Well, that was rude. That was plainly rude. Um, well, we better repair this. Ah! Okay, uh, one thing, um, you do know spiders, if they don't aggro you during the night, most of the time, you can get away without, uh, them attacking you. And if they don't attack, I don't kill. It's going to be like that. So there will be <laughs> there will be plenty of people who think this is downright silly, and that's okay. Because I think uh, unnecessarily portraying violence to a animal is kind of silly myself. That's the uh, that's the most that's the biggest concentration of creepers the first night I've seen. Um, it's strange, and it may just be coincidence, but most of the time it's almost like the first night's free. Okay, there. Now let's pick get down some big hit bit. What did I say? I want oh there they are. Sure. I want oak trees right now. Uh, for a very good reason. I want the saplings because I want to plant the saplings. Get apples. That's always always a welcome addition. Oop. I'll see here. And get some grass. I need a lot of this. Um, first, first, the first crop is going to be without water. I'll show you how. And then when we get iron, iron bucket, we can make it up right. See how you got four. It's a good start. Eight's better. Ah, apple. Yes, indeed. Exactly what I'm looking for. So, in case you don't know, which you probably don't, because you probably don't know me. Here. Um, I live up in the foothills of Sierra Nevadas in Central California with my wife and 80 billion cats. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six cats. And right now, two dogs. We're down to two dogs. On about yeah, three and a half acres. And we got about a little under an acre fence for the dogs. 
So they they never run wild. I used to be in law enforcement, but I hurt my back, so I'm currently a network engineer at a medium-sized internet service provider in the foothills. And it's an interesting job. I have learned a great deal from that. All right. Where, where do we want our field? We want our field um, away from that. You know, usually I have my field pretty close to the house, but I think I'm going to put it right here. No. Here's the house. I'll put this be the center. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the center. Now, let me show you here. Oh, yeah, yeah, not going to be there. there. If you can get a plant fast enough, <coughs> excuse me, they will grow, usually. Ah. Well, that was kind of silly. I don't think I should do that anymore. That's where the water's going to go, and then they can go out four each direction. I won't bother doing it now, because it'll just uh, it'll just uh, go back to dry dirt again. <laughs> if it doesn't have something growing on it. Yeah, we'll put a little light to shine. Now, what else was I going to do? I need building material. Well, actually, I should just go ahead. We'll just use this entire thing for uh, walls and stuff like that. And I, <laughs> I, I certainly do need to uh, repair my house. Oh, another apple. And another one. Wow. That's uh, kind of surprising. Very good. And although it does allow a place for bad guys to nah, that's a little too close. For them to hide, and I don't want it too close to that hole because when I harvest things I don't want them falling in, so Maybe I'll do it this way. Ah! Uh, there. And there. And I even have something to speed things up a bit. But I think instead of speeding up the trees, I'm going to speed up the wheat. I'm needing that for a food source, and that's kind of an iffy food source, but it certainly is a, a building source. So, now this is one thing I will do, I uh, will mention to you, is uh, the zombies will go after uh, doors at night. And if you're playing any time at all, you know that. So why am I telling you? Well, I want to show you how to get around that. That's right. You block the door up so you can't get out. No, that was just... So that will do it right there. They will not bother you. They don't even see it as a door. I've seen them just walk away. I'm going to put a, one torch there. And, all right, well, unfortunately, we're out of time for this first episode. Um, we're just getting started. Be it ever so humble, here it is. And we got our trees started uh, and our wheat, our huge wheat yard. Ooh, we got two apples, or three apples, and uh, 
three icky, three ickies, and we're safe for the night. So we'll leave it here, and tomorrow we'll uh, continue on. <laughs> oh yeah, and of course the iron ingot. I mean, how can we forget that? Oh, and two arrows. That's good. That is really good. Oops. Oh, one, two. One, two. Might as well keep the shroom soup going. I wonder. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I wasn't sure. All right. All right, you guys, take care, and I hope you enjoy this series. Um, I have one that I've been doing quite a while, Dahlgren's Demise uh, Season 2, and there's uh, The Misadventures of Shella Blue, and those are both Minecraft stiff, not specifically no kill, but in spirit no kill. But it, I thought it'd be fun just to start from the get-go and show people how to do it without killing animals. So that's that's the whole idea here. And I hope we have fun doing it. You guys take care. This is Dogrin out.